Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 369, and I have the mock-up of my 1911. This is a Sig Sauer product that is a, a little BB gun, uh, but there's nothing to uh, make it work. It's a phenomenal training tool because it has really good sights on it, uh, and the trigger feels decent. I mean, it's a BB gun, but the trigger feels fairly right. Here's what I invite you to work on the day. We call the, or I call this the Kathy drill in honor of a lady named Kathy, who is a regular watcher of the Dry Fire Journal on YouTube, but also a student of mine at the range in Yakima, Washington. And last night we did a two hour dry fire session. And one of the things that I picked up on that I was watching her do that I have done myself is coming out of the holster, building my grip with finger on trigger as I move to target. And so one thing I invite you to work on today at a pace of awareness of your motion. And you can interpret that however you want. Um, simply start here, build your grip as if you've just drawn or you can draw, but can your trigger finger stay where it belongs until your sights are falling on target? until your sights are falling on target, or if you use more of an escalator method, until your sights are raising into your periphery, and then press the trigger as you get there. Um, keeping your trigger finger where it belongs until you see whatever it is you need to see in your sights to realize they are arriving is really critical, super critical. And if you've been with me in classes, you understand how easy it can be to come out of a holster, finger starting to move, and you can wind up flagging yourself or another body part or somebody else in the line, or in real life, having your finger on the trigger when your muzzle is not in the direction of least consequence. So to put some work in today, into maintaining your index until you see your sights arriving. No, it does not slow you down. No, it does not slow you down. But here's the other part. I also wanna make sure I'm leaving early enough that just this motion of my index finger leaving the frame or slide, whatever your index point is, the the motion of going from here to here is going to slightly disrupt my sight picture, even with a firm two-hand grip. And it's especially more pronounced with the red dot. So figure out what your too, uh, too late is and figure out what your too early is and work on just one thing. And I invite you to do it. Start with one hand and just come here. And then add two hands and see how it goes. I'll see you tomorrow.